Problem 2.4, find the equivalent resistance looking into terminals A and B in figure P2.4. So uh, looking into it, I guess kind of means like, like the terminals are three dimensional and we're like looking into it. Um, but yeah, so from, from this right here, um, we can kind of remodel it to make it look a little bit a little bit nicer, like this. This whole thing right here can just go down here. We can bring these out so we don't have to be looking into it or whatever. Um, this will be B, this will be A, and we saw the uh, last video, or maybe the last last video. Um, this is basically just parallel. This whole box shape is just two parallels that are actually in series. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add twelve. We're gonna have twelve and six in parallel. Twelve ohms by six ohms in parallel. So this is R one. One, get my calculator out. 12 times six gives us four, four ohms. And then right here we have R2. R2 is the exact same thing in parallel. Multiply that by nine then add them together right here. R2 is equal to six ohms. So then what you do next is uh, these are both in series um, because this whole thing is one, this whole thing is one, this node is just one right here. So the total resistance it's going to be equal to 6 ohms plus 4 ohms, which is equal to 10 ohms.